morning you guys um so much deception that's why i say deceive party of one your table's ready people uh can't seem to understand that adding their imperfect obedience to christ's obedience doesn't help their salvation it actually negates it keeps them from being saved because they're adding their repent of sins not repenting of unbelief and dead works unto faith it's christ's perfect obedience that saves us and i wanted to mention some of the new testament people that were pretty wicked that were saved but they had consequences <clears throat> one simon the sorcerer we are saved by grace through faith alone he believed he saw the power of the holy spirit he made a terrible error trying to buy the power that they had. He, he it, it, you know, once you believe, you have the Holy Spirit. But these people were baptized in it, and they had that power, and that's what he wanted to purchase. Um, and Peter said, you know, your money perished with you, and, you know, to repent of that, because God's going to kill him. He was going to have an early physical death. Um, but that has nothing to do with salvation. Simon the sorcerer was saved. Also, Ananias and Sapphira. They were saved, um, but God took their life early because they lied to the Holy Spirit. And it wasn't because they didn't give all their money. It's because they could have just kept the money. He said, wasn't the money yours? They could have just kept it and said, we kept this. Here's the rest of it. But instead, they lied and said it was all of it. And uh, so God killed them. But they're saved. Uh, again, grace through faith alone. Um, people cannot hear it. And uh, it's so dangerous to bring anything in. Uh, many Old Testament saints. Samson was a fornicator and, a, and broke his uh, promise and drank. He was a Nazar Nazarite. He wasn't supposed to, to drink, or, but uh, he did, and um, he had consequences. David killed his friend and took his wife and tried to hide it. And You know, there was some, some really wicked stuff, but um, these people are saved because they believed God, and it was counted to them for righteousness. Um, that's it. There's a uh, the guy that was fornicating with his mom, you know, he said, let, let Satan have him to destroy his flesh so that God may save his spirit. Um, but uh, there were lots of uh, people not living like they're saved that were saved. So it's the same thing now. There's scripture, and you can look this up, don't believe me. Um, there's scripture about what kind of vessels, gold and silver and precious stones or wood and stubble, and that those uh, that follow after God are vessels of honor and those that don't aren't but it doesn't say they're not saved they're vessels and they're they belong to god but one's serving them and one isn't i've heard so many people say you've got to be a disciple to be saved that's lordship salvation that's your effort it has nothing to do with salvation demas was a disciple and left discipleship he was still saved so you know i, I wanted to give some biblical accounts of of why these people are so deceived and there should be so many people getting saved but these people and here's the real deal here they believe because they were taught to repent of sins instead of unbelief that how dare somebody get saved and not give up their sins how dare they like they're more deserving of salvation than someone that still lives in sin but the trick here is that nobody's deserving of it, no matter how many sins you give up or how good you live. And I'm always accused of telling people to live in sin, or they assume I do. They don't know what I've overcome. They don't know how I live. Because this isn't about me or how well I lived. It's about me telling you the true gospel of grace through faith alone and coming against any false doctrine. And uh, I'm going to do a video on... Uh, people abusing that line I don't suffer a woman to teach I'm gonna do that right now because it's really used in an improper way this isn't first century patriarch tribal society and women were the first people that Jesus showed himself to and they told the women to go tell the disciples the good news more uh, biblical evidence of women ministering in the Bible um, if they want to live in a patriarch tribal society, then they can move to Arabia under Sharia law. But not here. Um, anyway, I hope you guys are well. I, I, I can't get past that these people are so deceived 
into thinking they are more deserving, how dare someone get saved and still be in sin? Because they really think they're not willfully sinning anymore. You know, there's fear. That's a sin. Because that's the opposite of faith. There's sins we don't know about. There's, um, all sin is willful, really. So I, I, you know, and they go, oh, well, I don't mean perfect. I just mean willing to turn from, where does it say you have to be willing to turn from sin to be safe? What, what is that? And, and this imperfect obedience, because they even admit they're not perfect. Why are you bringing your imperfect obedience and adding it to the perfect obedience of Christ? That saves us. They don't believe in imputed righteousness. It, it's God's righteousness imputed on our account. So, anyway, I think my computer's glitching up. Hope you got the message. Okay. Mwah.